Never, never change. He is the same forever. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. He is the same forever. I want to thank God this morning. And I want to appreciate His glorious name. And I want to lift up his name on high. Because at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you to, to lift up his name. To say to God, you are my redeemer. If not that God has been with us, he would have been consumed by the enemy. I'm going to read the book of Mark chapter 16 before we continue our prayers. Mark chapter 16. Reading from New King James Version. Now, I'm reading from verse 1. When the Sabbath passed, was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices, that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb where, when the sun had risen, and they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. For it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side. And they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who is crucified. They led him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, and he is going before you into Galilee, there you will see him, as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb. For they trembled and were amazed. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now, when he arose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form of two of them as they walked went into the country and they went and told it to the rest but they did not believe them either. Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table 
and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart. Because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. First of all, I want to say a few things. The Jesus that you are looking for is no longer the crucified Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, he has risen. He's no longer in the tomb. Remember the worry of these women. They were going to anoint a corpse. They were going to be nice. They were going to make sure that this corpse it's not smelly. They want to take good care of it as their custom was. But their worry is who is going to roll away the stone from this crucified dead Jesus. That was their worry. And they forgot the word he spoke to them. And he's going to rise again. And when they found out the stone was rolled away, they didn't know why. They didn't know how. They didn't know who rolled the stone away. But at the end of the day, they went into the tomb. They found none. Nobody. But a man sitting by the right side of the tomb said to them, the man that you saw, you thought was dead, now is alive. He had gone ahead of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to attend and begin to know the Jesus that is risen. Christ, who says that he who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who believe will cast out demons. Why casting out demons? He knows that one major problem that we have in this world is demons, is aliens, is people who invaded the creature. He said, preach to the creature. He didn't just say, preach to humans. That's why we pray all kinds of prayer. There is a prayer where you talk to God. And there is a prayer where you command things. Because sometimes you see that demon is patching on your properties. Patching. That's why we pray. Patching. You see demons attacking your properties. The things that your hand has worked so hard. The demons will be attacking them. If they don't attack your car, they will attack your house. They will attack your children. They will attack everything. That's why he said, in my name, they will cast out demons. Casting them out. Casting them out. Don't allow them even in your doorstep. Don't even allow them to your gate. 
Don't even allow them to your street. But it has to start with you. Because if you're not able to chase the demon out of yourself, you won't be able to chase the demon out of people. You won't be able to chase the demon out of your properties. He said you will cast them out. And that's what we're going to do this morning. You are going to cast out every demon. The demons that will destroy your tire. You want to go to work. And then boom, you see a mighty big nail from nowhere in your tire. You want to leave and your car refuses to start. You, the car that was working normal, nothing was wrong with it. You want to, you know, enjoy yourself and was having the budget of the month and boom, your, your heater stopped working. Your pipe burst. Your kitchen begin to spill water. You know, things. Your rest, your bathroom is damaged. The things begin to happen. Or your daughter will just go somewhere driving, have an accident, and you start paying for it. These are the things. These are the demonic forces that you need to chase out of your life. Hallelujah. Of course, there will be challenges. But anyone... Anyone set up by demons will not walk. Cast out demons. Hallelujah. In my name, cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. The demons, they don't, they don't, they don't listen to begging. Begging. You got to speak in tongues. You got to cast them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will take up serpents. Of course, why did Jesus mention serpents? Because there are plenty. In fact, the world is full of serpents. Serpent in your water. Serpent in your food. How, how is a serpent? It's crafty. Craftiness. Craftiness they, they set up in food industries. Serpents. You think they are straight. You are eating some meat and think this is meat. But no, it is not. It is something else. Hallelujah. You are drinking your water thinking that the water is full, you know, good water that will give you life and, and help and all kind of things. But no. Poison. Things that are deadly to human system. Jesus knew all that. And said, you will take them up, but it will not hurt you. Because when you look around, after a while, you want to eat healthy, but you can't even find nothing. If you begin to listen and study, the more you study and go deeper, you will be afraid of eating anything. We've got no choice. We have to eat. But Jesus said, you will take up serpent, but it will not hurt you. People will eat what you eat, but they will be in trouble. But you will not. You think they are, they are helping you? The injection, the, the, the medication, all kind of things, you don't even know what it is. Hallelujah. But you trust God. Why? Because he said it, that you will drink deadly poison, but it will not hurt you. Meaning that we will be living without fear. Why? Because of Christ. He said it. Hallelujah. These are the things. The things that is accrued. The benefits of believing in Christ. Hallelujah. Miracle working God. We're going to pray this morning. Whatever has posed fear in our lives. Hallelujah. Whatever that has posed fear in our lives will cease to exist from today. Remember, if these three women had sat back and said, you know there is a big stone in that tomb and none of us has the ability or the muscle to push that stone away. We are all women. It might take 
100 soldiers to push away that stone. It might take 50 trained soldiers to push away that stone. But we are just three of us, women without enough potential, energy to push away the stone. However, they continued to go. I want you to understand that things does not work today does not mean that it will never work again. You tried to buy a house many years ago, it's not working out. It does not mean that it will not work now. You try that job, getting a job, you applied, it's not working out. That doesn't mean that it will never work. I want you to go by faith. As they're moving, they saw that the stone was moved. Without begging anybody, the stone was moved ahead of them coming to that tomb. I want you to know that something is happening right now. God is about to move away every stone that is hanging, that is sitting on your miracle. Every stone, every stone. God is going to show you another realm of miraculous power this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for every stone that is standing before me shall be rolled away. I don't care what that stone is. The stone that is preventing your miracle. Emma Talakuru. Zope Tarekaba. Preventing you from getting that license. Preventing you from moving forward. Preventing you from progressing. Preventing you. That stone is being rolled away this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Every gravestone upon your miracle. I come out this morning that it must be moved away. Every stone sitting on your financial miracle, your finances, I command by the power in the name of Jesus, be rolled away. Be rolled away. Be rolled away. Open your mouth. Say, I roll away every gravestone sitting on my miracle, sitting on my rising, sitting on my miracle, sitting on my progress, sitting in my miracle. I cast out all those demons right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon perpetrating evil. Setting up your family for destruction. Putting a massive stone on their progress. On the progress of yourself. On the progress of your children. On the progress of your siblings. Whichever stone I command in the name of Jesus Christ be rolled away. 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 away. Mali de Kerebos, We Kananta, Paracutele, Zashta Marica Tolobos, Librege de Libobos, Mandrege de Libobos, Robene Kentorobos, Kepranaya, Rashi Takinto, Zukabana Imprenekaya, Zopra Catolobo Cuperia, Zempranacaria, in the name of Jesus, every great stone. That is covering you in your office. I command it this morning to be rolled away. Let it 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 be rolled away. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Your miracle must show up today. You must rise. You must progress. You must rise. Your children must progress. Your child must grow. I want you to mention the name of your children now. Say every gravy stone that is blocking them right now, I roll them away. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be rolled away. Let it be rolled away. Let it be rolled away. I connect myself with the scripture, with the book of Mark chapter 16. I connect myself right now. Yes, Lord. Man taborebus. Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
book of Mark chapter 16 and verse 4. That stone must be rolled away. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. And I begin to connect my house, my car, my properties with Mark chapter 16 and verse 18. We shall take up the serpent. We shall drink the deadly poison, but it will not hurt us. By Kia Morada. And we shall lay hands on the sick, and the sick will recover. I want you to lay hands on your houses right now. If you have the time, even after prayers, you can anoint your car. Whatever the enemy is planning, to begin to suck out your money, to take out your money, to 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 ensure that your finances go to zero because of mishappen, mishappenings, things happening unexpectedly, that the power of God will crush them right now. Because I am connecting myself with the book of Mark chapter 16 and 18. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall take up the serpent, it will not hurt me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall drink even deadly poison. It shall not hurt me. No food, no drink, no injection, no vaccine, nothing shall hurt me. In the name of Jesus Christ, no medication shall hurt me. In the name of Jesus Christ, nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth. O paradu, o paradu, marapua, teko, swame latia, branke bosana. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory. Just raise your hand wherever you are. Say, I give you glory. I give you praise for answering my prayers this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For I shall go out this morning in your great favor. For you have rolled away the evil stone, the gravestone from my family. And we shall see the light from this day. From this day. From this day, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let the church shout amen. Let the church shout amen. Father, I pray for everyone that is sick right now. Under the sound of my voice. As you hear my voice, let their sickness disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the healing power of God to flow through you and heal you from every pain, from every complication, from every part that is not working well. I command your deliverance right now. Let there be flow of the power of the healing of God through from your crown, crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Healing you completely. Be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. And I command your protection right now. As you're going out, as you're coming in, I protect you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God protect you. Let the glory of God protect you. Protect you going into supermarket. Protect your children going to school. Protect them wherever they are going. No kidnapping, no accident. No kidnapping, no accident. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your car. I cover your house. No fire outbreak. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I'll see you by this time tomorrow. Bye-bye. To stop conference recording, press 1. To return...